Hello, welcome. This is our fourth video in our series on detailing, detail components, and drafting elements. So I want to kind of finish up this one detail and probably install it in a sheet to show you what it looks like. Especially when we're dealing with a scale of a one inch is equal to one foot scale. It's going to be a little bit bigger than it would appear as, as if it were uh, you know, the regular sheet scale of a quarter inch is equal to one foot. So let's do a couple more things here before we uh, move on to that. Remember how we put in compacted earth and just regular earth? We probably should identify that. I've seen details like this where they have dozens and dozens of callouts with very specific information. We have more generalized information just for demonstration for this example, but when it comes to your details or details you might be working on in somebody else's project, you might be putting a lot more callouts into it, but it uh, works the same way. So let's do this. Let's go to text. Okay, we'll save the project too. And go to the dog leg again, which is uh, by default already set. So let's go ahead and uh, click on this one. And it's going to try to pick up some of the uh, some of the text elements from above that. And it looks like it's uh, going to quarter inch text, so we'll have to change that. But that's going to be compacted earth. Oops. And we already have a... Um, We already have with compacted earth in here, with this layer, we already have a dimension on, so we don't necessarily have to identify um, you know, how, th how thick it's got to be. So the, the dimension in there should suffice for that. So let's go ahead and finish this, E-A-R-T-H. The reason why I let me time anymore is at the very edge of the, of the annotation boundary that was in there. So I'm going to go ahead and borrow this and move that down and just call this uh, earth. So they know that's the end of uh, what needs to be manipulated for this. So that's our detail. All right, I've already saved the project. Let's go ahead and save it again. It's always a good idea to save it occasionally. And let's go ahead and insert this into a sheet. So we already have one sheet made. Let's go ahead and create a new sheet. We're going to call that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, load my title block. You'll be loading your title block, and go to OK. Once we do that, we're going to right-click on that. We're going to go to rename, so we don't uh, forget what we're doing here. And we're going to call this just plain and simple details. But the number, uh, let's make that uh, sheet uh, maybe the 400 series, or maybe 401, and we'll call that details. And go to OK. Go up to your project browser, find a detail. Remember the details in the section uh, folder. And grab that detail, detail, drop it in there. You know, so that wall is a lot bigger in this sheet than uh, it would be if we had it at one quarter inch is equal to one foot scale, which is what it was at first. But it's of a decent size, so we can see a pretty decent amount of detail in there. So it's pretty good. All right, let's look down here. Detail, interior wall, borrows the name of that detail. The scale is one inch is equal to one foot. This is detail number one on this sheet uh, 401. And it's got all the elements we had in there before, and uh, it looks uh, rather attractive to me. Let's go back to our detail number one and see, or actually go back all the way back to our section view and take a look at that and see what that uh, callout looks like. Now that callout actually does reflect that new number. And let's put that callout in a place that we can actually see it. So remember, it is detail one on sheet 401. So when you're in this section, you see a symbol like that, you know where to go. It gives you a nice address to go to. All right, that's that. We're going to have a, a few more videos, and then uh, we'll call it done. And uh, thanks for joining me.